It's week 34 and these weeks are going by so fast but at the same time a lovely pace because I wouldn't want them to creep by because then I would get impatient. So um, they're going by nicely but quickly because I am almost, I'll be 35 weeks at the beginning of this week and it is Friday today. So this week I've been really good. Um, physically there's been no complaints. I don't think, I think that's going to be my theme. There's no complaints. Um, sleep is a little weird, but I think that's just going to remain that way until I have him. I keep like, my dreams have been really weird and like I feel, I don't know, I've had really weird like feelings when I wake up. Not necessarily anything, just like weird dreams and like kind of just hours of the night where I'm kind of, it's not quite insomnia, but I'm kind of like, I could wake up now, but I'll just go back to sleep. and. I'm, I'm not sure how to even explain it. So sleep is weird, but um, other than that, I can't really complain. With sleep, I just I try and sleep on my left side, and sometimes I wake up and I'm on my back. It's because like I'm too lazy to make it all the way over to my left side or to my right side, I guess. So I don't know. So I just wind up on my back and whatever. I, if my body wasn't okay with that, then obviously it would wake me up and make myself move but um, I'm okay with it it's a little annoying I'd like to stay on my left side but I'm gonna try maybe tonight I put pillows in front of me and make like a little barrier and then do like a <laughs> resting yoga position essentially to sleep um, where I'm resting on the pillows but I keep flipping over to the other side so with the pillows on my back not necessarily on my back but just like to my back so I wonder if I put the pillows down the middle if that will just make me sleep on my left side because the pillows are on my back and if, I don't know, it's something to try, why not? If I don't like it halfway through the night then I just move it all back. So I think I can try that tonight. Um, Braxton Hicks have been pretty good. There's been, like I have, I still have them, but they're not as frequent as all and they're, they're getting, they're not stronger, but they, because he's bigger, they're tighter I suppose, but um, they're pretty manageable, manageable and they're not on they're like uncomfortable just because they're so tight because he's so big and there's I'm not a, I don't have a lot of room for baby in me but um, I I'm pretty sure I make decently sized babies because Mackenzie was pretty big and um, I, I feel like he's bigger so besides that they've been really easy I just like drink a lot of water and make sure my water is maintained and as long as I'm drinking a good amount of water. I basically just have to be like constantly sipping on something, whether it be my tea or my water. And as long as I'm doing that, or and um, eating when like not letting myself get hungry, like really not like I've been mentioning, I've been having a hard time with my food, and like I'm, I haven't been feeling hungry. But as long as I don't let myself get to a point of where I'm like, oh my god, I'm really hungry and I'm getting the shakes, then because that gives me Braxton Hicks too, then I'm pretty good. I'll have like a couple in the day or maybe a few I don't know I don't count them um, but yeah so that's pretty good um, emotionally I'm really good I my blessing way is this weekend it's Friday my blessing way is on Sunday um, I guess that's where that emotionally is because I'm just a little bit nervous about it um, and I, I don't know not even nervous it's just, sorry my hair's doing crazy things today and I just I wish it would stop because I need it to not be like this um, just, I'm, I'm a little bit, like, I don't know, I'm gonna say nervous because I don't know the word for it, but I feel like, I, f I feel intimidated to host this, I'm hosting my own blessing way, um, for people, I have one girlfriend who's been to, like, four blessing ways, so she knows what they are, and, um, besides that, nobody knows what a blessing way is that is coming, and, which is okay, because they're all really open-minded, they're all coming just to, you know, love and support me, which is really awesome, and that's the point of it. So I know I'll be fine, but just making a balance between keeping it casual and keeping it really warm and comforting, and then incorporating those blessing my aspects and keeping it spiritual at the same time is I'm having a hard time doing that because I don't want my guests to be like unfocused or like feel uncomfortable. I don't want there to be awkward pauses. I don't want there to be like weird little cricket chirping <laughs> and I also don't want like I don't want people to get distracted away from the point of it so I'm just having a hard time kind of 
figuring out what exa how exactly I'm going to keep it to where I need it because, um, you know, if I'm going to if I'm going to do this, I need it to be what I need. I need to get what I need out of it. You know, I just want to like bless our home for the home birth, and of course, just like um, positive vibes and everything for for our upcoming upcoming birth and just for welcoming this little guy. And I like I can feel it's going to be such like a profound time in our life. Um, I don't know. It's just this is such a an amazing experience, this whole pregnancy and this preparing for his birth and I just can feel this birth is going to just be amazing and I really want this, the welcoming of that and the support of that to, I don't know, do it justice I guess. So, so uh, it's just a little bit intimidating, I kind of feel like the blind leading the blind because I've never been to a blessing way, I've never had a blessing way before and so um, I'm just going to kind of wing it and I know I'm just going to do what's good, what, what works for me and I just hope that um, I can not be awkward. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm at emotionally. And other than that, I'm, once I get past that, I'll probably get, like I'm not, I'm just kind of like focused on that right now, but I am really excited. I'm really excited to meet him and hold him and just to prepare for um, our birth, but at the same time I'm not ready for him yet, obviously because he's not ready to come out yet, don't come out yet. and. Um, we don't actually have all the stuff for him yet. We haven't gone shopping for him at all yet. I, I think I maybe have bought like an outfit or two. Um, but next, not this coming weekend, but next weekend we're going and doing all of our baby and birth supply shopping. And so um, I think I'm going to do a video on what um, I'm getting for him and what I feel like I need this time and what I'm skipping and kind of share a little bit about that. Um, besides that, just things have been really good this week. There's nothing that, I met up with my doula and she is amazing and I just, every time we meet, she like, I don't know, she kind of, she kind of reminds me of my mom, but in not a weird way. I don't know. Like it's, it's kind of really weird because I don't know if she like looks like my mom a little bit. I have no idea what it is, but every time I see her, I'm just like, oh, you like, I don't know. It's just like this like momentary thing where I'm like, you remind me of my mom. Uh, but um, like, and I think maybe they just kind of like look similar, I suppose. I don't know. But anyway, look, like she, we, she gives me a hug when we see each other and it's just awesome. And she's just, she's really open. And um, even though, you know, she's so excited for this birth and she's so open to it and she's so enthusiastic and I love it and that's exactly what I want and she's just like a really really good match for us and um, she's I don't feel like she's afraid to like get in there as long as like I'm, I tell her like yeah like you know like when the when the time comes like this is okay and all these things are fine and you know um, we're not gonna get offended or anything like that so just like be casual and like get get right in there and like help Cody and tell him what to do and <laughs> things like that and so um, I think she's gonna just be a really good match for us and I think, well, I think she is a really good match for us. And so yeah, I'm, we're meeting again. She just had a baby. And so I, we actually just had our second appointment. That was only our second appointment, like seeing each other. And so we have our third one in, in, at the end of this month. And then um, after that, I call her when it's time and she comes over. And so yeah, that's like, wow, we're there already. I see my midwife like one more time which is also crazy. So, um, yeah, we're just getting close. We're just getting to the final stages and we're just prepping and getting ready. And I have my home birth list of everything I want and everything I need. And I think I'm gonna share that with you. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna wait until I have all this stuff. Maybe, probably. And then um, I wanna share you guys, with you guys my home birth list and like my the recommendations my midwife gave me because which I really like about my midwife is she's super casual and she's super like simplistic um, which is how we are about you know everything from like baby gear to like what we want for the birth I don't want all this extra stuff and so I, I was really like I was so happy when she gave me the list and it was literally just like this is what you need and anything else is really either unnecessary or just up to you and I really like that because um, I, I feel like we can pretty much We'll get what we need and we'll get some extras, but at the same time, we'll just kind of get a feel for what we want and if I want something, then 
we're at home. We probably have it on hand, or we will have it on hand. Or, you know, a family member, we live with our in-laws, so I, either I can send Cody or I can send one of the in-laws off to the store for us for anything we need, because we have that awesome convenience right here. So, um, yeah, that is me this week. And I think that's everything I wanted to tell you for this week. Um, I'm going to try and get next week's video a little closer to um, the middle of my week. And hopefully it's my... Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's my birthday next week, but I think I can squeeze that in at the same time. So, um, yeah, we'll see you next week.